Whittacall Partnership was developed by four schools in the South Staffordshire area. We currently offer construction and hairdressing training and are developing courses in eye media, manufacturing and product design and looking to expand in the future into health and retail. We have a dispersed rural population. Um, of the hundred and so thousand people who live in South Staffordshire, most of them go to work in Wolverhampton or Birmingham or even further afield. Uh, that means that there's very few opportunities for work-based learning within the district. Um, and because of that, the schools got together and they formed the partnership in order to establish our own. The main partners at the moment, we've got uh, Ansdale High School, Edgecliff, Whittick Hall School, which is a special school, uh, and Cotswold High School. The four head teachers got together and in the first instance we looked at uh, building and so we brought in Wolverhampton College and then at a later date we then brought in Fran Francesco's, the hair company, and then they developed the uh, facility that's at Codsell High School now. When the hairdressing salon uh, opened it was quite a groundbreaking and unique thing to have this kind of facility on a school site. Francesco Group is a company that lifeblood has been training. Uh, it's vital for us to get involved in working with young people from as early ages as, poss as possible. So at the moment the students that are here today they're doing NVQ level one. It's an assisting level where they learn to shampoo, get the clients ready basically for the stylists. When we arrive in the morning we, like, we do like an hour of theory and then we plan what we want to do like for the last two hours. In the afternoon we do practical and we wash people's hair or we dry, like, we dry their hair or we can roll hair. It's been good because uh, you get to learn everything about hairdressing and it's better than school because it's more creative and you get to do more stuff. And um, There's four different schools that come here and it's good because when you have a real job you have to mix with people you don't know so it gets you used to it. Here we have members of the public coming in, they're booked in as proper clients, um, they work time, they're, you know, they're, the students have to look after them as a client, um, learn client consultation, customer care. It's really important with this type of facility that we, that we create a realistic working environment. This has to look and feel just like a salon. It's giving you like the experience of what, of what it'd be like when you're going to a real salon. You'll be like used to the environment when you work in a proper place. Most students actually probably come in not really thinking they want to be a hairdresser, but I'd like to think that most of them leave thinking, oh, actually I could do that. Um, I'm planning on going to college and studying hair and beauty and then hopefully I'm going to try and get a job in the salon. Before I started coming to college I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do for my career but now I've, I enjoy coming here so I think it's what I definitely want to do when I'm older. The house originally belonged to Sir Alfred Hickman, the steel magnet, and 54 years ago he gave it uh, to us as a school, as an education authority, and now we use it. And as you can see, it's a fantastic facility and we're very, very lucky to have it. We've got about three acres of land and at the bottom of the garden we have an indoor tennis court and it was perfect for constructional trades and training. Without this facility, this qualification couldn't happen. It's as simple as that. City of Wolverhampton College actually support the programme. They supply all of the teaching staff. The bonus for the, the student here is the gateway into construction via the college, where it's, it's an automatic progression. Basically, we we have three cut, we have three disciplines, and you do woodwork, bricklaying, and painting. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you start on. You get through all three of them during the year and you do, do each one twice. This is better for me uh, because I prefer to do hands-on jobs more practically. The building craft qualification is uh, in equivalent form three GCSEs D and below. The college have purposely designed this so that it gives the practical students some sort of qualification at the end of the school year. I'd like to go from this into the Wolverhampton College, do train there, get my next MVQ level um, and try and get keep going up the MVQ levels and then eventually hopefully do something in the building trade. Your sandpaper around the block, put it nice and flat on the wall area, go round in your circular motion until you've got the rest of the board nicely sanded off. Okay? 
What the lads are doing at the moment, they're preparing a board area to receive ceramic tiles. They also have to do a metre square of plastering. They also have to paint two doors, one panel, one flush with oil-based paints. And they also have to complete a bay area, which is ceiling, coving, wall areas and woodwork. I like working and doing something different. I mean, it's different. I mean, you've got painting, you've got uh, carpentry, you've got bricklaying, you've got tiling, you've got plastering. And I just, I love it really. It's influenced me, I've stopped messing about. I want to have good education. It just helps me really, because I like doing this stuff and it makes me feel happy. Meet new friends like Codsall and everyone else. So, it's really good really. What we, what we hope to get out of this course is, obviously for them to get onto a course at the college. It does give them a sense of, you know, that they've actually achieved something at the end of the day. I'm choosing business studies at school, to, so when I've done this I could like, I've got experience and that and then me and my, my dad could like work together or something and then I open my own business. The, the core of what we do is to give the kids the skills they will need when they go into work, working in a group, um, turning up on time, doing what you're told to do, all the things that people learn when they, when they start work. From Arnsdale's point of view, what we're going to be able to offer from September is an iMedia course. We can use things like animation and gaming and media and video production um, to really show what things that they can develop um, and aspects that will particularly engage them in the learning process. We've been able to uh, be successful in a bid for substantial amounts of money to develop our technology block back home uh, at Edgecliff, which will enable us to offer diplomas probably in manufacturing and product design or engineering. And the really exciting thing about that is that South Staffordshire has not had that kind of provision before for its students. My enthusiasm with the partnership was the fact that we could create this training centre, which is valuable for our students, but also the fact that other students come into our school. So inclusion is very, very popular at the moment, and it's a very popular term. And often it's very, very difficult to include students in special schools into mainstream schools. Many of our students present us with challenging behaviour, with learning difficulties, and we actually include them into the construction with students from the other mainstream schools that we deal with. It is on the students here's terms and they can go down to the centre and they can enjoy inclusion with other schools and it is working exceptionally well. We hope this film has given you an insight into the fantastic courses available to you. We would like to share this opportunity with you so if you are a teacher or student who would like to find out more we would be more than happy to show you around. Please do get in touch.